Welcome to another Fine & Country video in the Luxury Home Tour series. My name's Holly and I've travelled up north today through picturesque Yorkshire countryside to visit this Grade 2 star-listed country house behind me just outside of Rotherham. I think you'll agree it's very grand, very characterful, so let's see if that continues on the inside. I wanted to start this tour today in the games room because the decor is so imposing, really contrasting to a lot of the other rooms in the property. The main house was built in the early 18th century with later additions in later years and a lot of the period features have been preserved like this marble fireplace central to the room, exposed floorboards, the ornate cornicing, really giving us a glimpse into the history. I particularly love the panelling on the wall which in modern interior design people are really trying to emulate in their 21st century homes. Although the colour scheme in this room is very dark and moody, we have got these three shuttered windows with a view out to the driveway offering loads of light in this room, especially on a summery day like today. The living room just across the hall has got the same layout but a very different design, so come with me. As you can see, we are worlds away from the games room in here with the white walls and the white ceiling giving us a really stark contrast and the furnishings are definitely more soft and minimal than the games room but the layout is the same we've got a central fireplace again this one is cast iron and the three shuttered windows which gives us that beautiful symmetrical appearance from the front Across the exposed flagstone floor of the reception hall, we have got a snug to one side and a cloakroom and WCs, and then down an original stone staircase that is the most incredible cellar that I've seen. But now let's go into the study at the rear of the property. There are two sash windows in this study offering a beautiful view out to the garden, which I can't wait to explore. Now this room has got original panelling again and this gorgeous marble fireplace with original tiled detailing as well. How stunning is that? And you might have noticed that we're back to a dark colour scheme again in this room. I love that it matches the dark wood in here, so trendy for a study and I would definitely like to work from home in here. The dining room brings us away from that dark decor again with this maximalist design in here with the quirky striped wallpaper. And by contrast to the rooms at the front of the house, which are very square and uniform, this room has these lovely archways on either side. The floor space in this room is expansive. You could certainly host the biggest and the best dinner parties in here. And we've got the double aspect giving us two views of the grounds and lovely light pouring in. There have certainly been some fantastic period features so far, but my favorite I think has got to be this parquet flooring. It's certainly been very well maintained and I can't wait to see more of what's to come. Now we enter the kitchen and I feel like I'm gonna sound like a broken record soon, but we're greeted by yet another design style. This one is contemporary and minimalist, a lot like the front living room. We've got ceramic floor tiles, bespoke furniture, a granite worktop, and something I wasn't expecting in a home like this, very modern quicker hot water tap. Coming back to the traditional now though, the central feature of this room is definitely this Arga range. Plus, I just love this. A little serving hatch through to the dining room. There is also a connecting pantry with loads of storage and shelving, but for now, let's head outside and enjoy the sunshine. We've 
explored the east wing of the property. Now the west wing is actually a separate accommodation. So it comprises a ground floor kitchen with a double height ceiling and exposed flagstone flooring. There are two adjoining utility rooms and then upstairs there are three rooms as well. So this part of the home would be perfect for live-in staff or visiting friends or family and they have access out onto the garden as well so they too can enjoy these spectacular grounds. This property is set in two and a half acres of grounds. To the front, we've got that lovely semicircle in and out driveway, and there are quite substantial walls to either side to give us that feeling of seclusion and privacy. Then to the rear, the garden is laid mainly to lawn. There is a feature pond drawing our attention to the symmetry of the back of the home again. There is a secret garden to one side and then at the end of the main garden, past a small wooded area, we come to these beautiful views beyond the garden. More Than Hall occupies a delightful position backing onto open countryside, enjoying one of Rotherham's most sought after locations. More Than is a hamlet on the outskirts of Rotherham, slightly south of Sheffield, within a few miles of the M1. The area offers an idyllic lifestyle, being a peaceful retreat with the everyday hustle and bustle within driving distance. The location is both private and convenient, being only a short walk from Wickersley and its amenities, including shops, bars and restaurants. Further afield, you can reach the glorious scenery of the Peak District and be in the centre of the city of Sheffield within less than half an hour's drive or by train via Rotherham Station. Stairs now and I've come up via this iron spindled staircase past the double height arched window giving us another view out onto the garden. We come to a large landing area but let's head through to the principal suite first. This bedroom suite is very me. The decor is very similar to the kitchen and that front living room downstairs, all white everything. And then we have those three shuttered windows with a south facing aspect with inbuilt inset seats under the windows, offering the most perfect spot to lose hours in a good book. There are exposed floorboards in here and enough room for a whole seating area plus there's another original fireplace and you'll probably notice that this room feels very minimal and tidy and that's because you have the benefit of being able to hide your belongings in here. This walkthrough dressing room is just perfect to keep everything out of the way and organised. Plus there's enough space to get ready in the morning too. And it offers access through to the ensuite. This bathroom is so chic and so stylish. We've got really high ceilings, just like all of the house, but it's particularly noticeable in here. There is marble flooring, but the main attraction for me is this freestanding antique roll top bath. It's definitely giving me high class hotel vibes with the chandelier overhead and the walk-in shower behind these twin basins. The second bedroom is also south-facing and has those lovely window seats again. There's lots of period features and similarly to the principal has an ensuite and a walk-in wardrobe. There are nine bedrooms in total with the third bedroom on this floor offering a view out to the other side of the house. There are two double bedrooms at the end of the home which are connected so could be used as a separate teenager suite and then completing the first floor is a family bathroom. Now shall we head up to the second floor? 
we're up in the eaves of the building now, as you might be able to tell by some of the slanted ceilings. There are four double bedrooms up here, all with exposed timbers and lovely countryside views. One of them is currently set up as a gym. There is also a shower room up on this floor, and I feel like you would use these rooms for maybe guest suites or hobby rooms. And then this is where I want to finish the tour by this unique circular window and this lovely seating area. I think this is exactly where you'd find me in the winter months. Morven Hall is a one-of-a-kind property. I definitely felt like a lady of the manor walking around that home, overlooking my kingdom down below, otherwise known as Sheffield. So if you enjoyed this tour just as much as I did, make sure you like this video, comment below your favorite feature. For me, it's got to be the countryside views. Make sure you subscribe to the Finding Country YouTube channel and I'll see you on our next tour.